everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by Sewing Machine Rehab today. You might be here because you were at my Etsy shop, So So She Goes, and I'm just really happy to finally get to a sewing demonstration of this beautiful 1948 Singer Featherweight Sewing Machine. I just finished the restoration, and so it is for sale now in my Etsy shop. And just in case you're wondering, this machine comes with its uh, original case, uh, the original manual, and the original set of attachments. So really quick, I have the attachments here. They're all inside, and I will add in three of the bobbins that you need for this machine. This manual I just wanted to talk about really quick. Um, at the top, it says Helen's singer and actually there's a sticker on top of the case which if you go to my etsy shop you will see i left the sticker on it says helen so i decided to leave it there because it matched the manual and if you want to take it off well that's entirely up to you so today what we'll be looking at is really just how the machine sews i'll be using just some cotton We'll test sew with a little quilt sandwich. And then finally, we'll test sew with some denim. So that's what I'm going to set up next. Uh, as far as what I did to this machine, it had a full restoration, which means not just on the outside, so it's beautiful looking, but on the inside, so it runs properly. The motor was totally disassembled. Uh, the light was removed, not just the ball, but the actual light. All of the lead casing on the wire inside was cleaned. The brushes were checked. The commutator was cleaned. I remove um, the feed dog system and the feed stitch regulator itself and the parts inside. I take off the tension. I remove the presser bar and the needle bar. Everything's cleaned replaced and adjusted. So the feed dogs have been set to the proper height. The tension has been set to the factory setting. And then I double checked the stitch length as well because this machine will uh, stitch six stitches per inch, uh, up to 30 stitches per inch. So before I ever sell a machine, I always make sure that you're getting accurate stitch lengths which is important because as you know, when you're sewing garments, you may need to run a gathering stitch or you just wanna base something that you can easily pull out later. And if you're not getting that six per inch, it makes it kind of difficult. So anyway, I'm going to set up uh, again, just with a closer shot here so you can see the machine as it's sewing. Uh, real quick too, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see the machines that are coming up or maybe some tutorials I have, please remember to like uh, this video and subscribe to my little channel. Okay, let's get ready here. Okay, that was fast. Uh, I will do my best not to bump the camera while I'm sewing, but I tend to do it always at least once. Uh, I am actually sewing with the original foot controller and uh, the machine will come with the original foot controller. Happily, it works beautifully and you will see for yourself that it has a lot of speed control, which uh, I'm always talking about that because sometimes it's just really difficult to get them working uh, properly. But this one, it's beautiful, it's in excellent condition, and it, most importantly, you can sew very slow or very fast, which we all need that sometimes. So I'm gonna turn on the light. And um, I don't think you can see it very well. So I wanted to talk about how I kind of rate these machines. And I would say this machine gets an A plus for as far as performance, the way the motor functions, how it sews. I would probably give it a B for the cosmetic condition. And it would take a lot to get an A 
on a featherweight for me. And I know that people are very particular um, and it's really important to have a shiny black featherweight. So it gets a B because on the bed here, there is some wear in the lacquer finish. And obviously you're going to always see it here the most because the fabric's running uh, over the decals and the lacquer here, or people will snip threads and plop their scissors down or pins. And so it just takes a beating over the years. And as I said earlier, uh, this was manufactured in 1948. So it's seen a little bit of use, I'm sure. Uh, Helen must have used it a lot. So anyway, you can't see it so much here, but it is there and um, I would I will make sure that it does show up well in the photos uh, that I'm going to post in my shop. So anyway, enough about that. I just realized I forgot to mention it earlier. So we will start out on cotton and this just two layers. I will start at six stitches per inch and then you will see me slowly move up. Maybe we'll do 10 or 12 and then we'll do the fine stitch of 30 per inch. So my foot's down. I'm going to keep the tension at three the whole time. Um, something that's really great about these older machines is if they are set properly, especially if it's a straight stitch only, you won't have to mess with your tensions too much through different projects. So let's see um, if my theory is right, but I don't think I need to adjust this. So I can sew slow or super fast and we'll go one more time this with this longer stitch slow fast okay and I'm going to show you the stitch up close so let's move to about a 10 I can sew along slowly speed it up. And let's do that really fine stitch up at 30. It sounds so great. Um, really nothing negative to say at all about this machine. So let me show you the stitch now. This is what you're probably watching for. So here is where we have the six stitches per inch. This is just a uh, standard weight cotton, uh, standard thread that you could get at a fabric store. Um, I know people like to sew with some of the heavier threads. I think it's 50 weight or something like that, but this is what I have on hand right now. So you can see how great the stitches is, especially look at those fine ones. And then here is the back side. It's just beautiful. And I always like to show you when you pull on the fabric here you're not getting any funky loops so this is great next we will do the quilt sandwich and maybe about I don't know an eight I'm just gonna put my foot down and I realize the color of this thread probably doesn't match or it matches too well so I think we'll still be able to see it but we'll just I do hear this little squeaking noise coming from the spool pin rotating around up top. Okay. Better stop sewing. I'm going to run out of bobbin thread. I don't think I have a lot on here. So here is the top. This is a layer of cotton, then some batting, and then another layer of cotton. 
And you can see it went around the curves really well. Didn't have any funny stitches come through. And then the back side, you know, sometimes when we're um, free motion quilting, if your tensions aren't set properly, you can get a little bit of eyelashing on the back. Um, and that's where the, the upper thread pulls through and the bobbin thread kind of jerks it in a funny way and it looks like an eyelash. But here it is perfect, no complaints. So last, um, we will just run over this denim a little bit. And I think I'll still keep it at an eight. I'm also not going to change uh, the tension or the pressure here. I think it's going to be just fine. The eight's probably gonna mimic the stitching that's already on this denim. So let's go. Watch how it powers over these thicker seams. There's no hesitation or anything like that. And hopefully you can see that. But it's perfect. No changes in stitch length. You watched as it was sewing, it didn't struggle at all. So lots of different projects you will be able to do with this machine, without a doubt. I'd love to see some quilts that someone has made off of one of my machines one day. So if you've purchased one in the past and you wanna share a photo, please do so. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope that you've seen enough to uh, help you with decisions. Please, if you have questions or comments, you can leave them below or you can go over to my Etsy shop and contact me there. I love hearing your feedback. I love hearing um, if there's something different I can show you in the videos. That's something that's really helpful to me. So I appreciate you taking time to watch today and I hope you have a great one. Bye.